Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Sky, the owner and founder of our online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor halls, decorating ideas, and so much more. Now, if you've been here for a little bit, you know that we recently launched our e-design service and we are so excited about this. We have already had some amazing clients sign up for this service, but we've also realized that some of you have some questions. So we recently did a poll over on Instagram and we decided to open up a question box and see what you guys want to know. So in this video today, I'm going to be diving deeper into some of your specific questions that you have about e-design. I'm also going to bring you all to our house and home office today because I have a really fun project that we're going to be working on with my Cricut machine and I can't wait for that. And I'm also going to be sharing a really delicious strawberry lemonade recipe using our house and home press glass juicer. And last but not least, we are going to check out some pre-fall sneak peeks. right into some of these e-design questions. The first question that was asked is, what if you like Sky's style but aren't a fan of all the white? That is perfectly okay because we're designing your space, not my space. So basically what happens is once you purchase your e-design space, there's a large space or a small space and that's all laid out on our website for you, you will get an automatic email sent directly to your inbox and it's a questionnaire and it asks you what your style is, what your favorite colors are, what your desires are for this space and what it needs to function as. So you'll be able to answer all of those and then you can also upload photos of your current space and measurements and then you can also upload some inspiration photos. So ideally you'd send over two to three pictures from Pinterest or from a friend's house or from Instagram or wherever you're finding your inspiration. It may even be a picture from a magazine or a home decor book. And that way it can just really give me a sense of what you're looking for for your specific space. The next question is a great one, and I kind of answered this when I was answering the first question. It's, do I have to love the farmhouse style? And simply put, absolutely not. Whatever style you love is what we want to work on in your space. So of course I have a just love for farmhouse because that's kind of the style that I have taken on in my own home, but that doesn't mean that that's how you need to decorate your home because the idea of these e-design services and honestly, the main goal is to create spaces that you love in your home. So your style might be mid-century modern, it might be bohemian, it could be uh, anything, honestly, and that is what we want to bring to life in your space. So we want to take elements of what you love and bring that into your home so that you can love the space that you're living in. Another question that I am so excited to answer because I think this can be a little confusing for people who've never heard of e-design before is how does it work if I don't live close by? And e-design is amazing because you could live anywhere anywhere and we can work with you and that is why we decided to do this program we are so excited to be able to partner with anyone truly around the world to be able to help make their spaces feel more like home so basically you're going to decide which space you want to update you'll purchase it over on our website and you'll get that automatic email sent to you once you fill out that questionnaire i will call you within two to three business days and we will go over the details and make Make sure that there is no question that you have that goes unanswered. We'll also be in communication via email throughout the entire process. 
and then I get to designing and the client will receive their finished product within one month of sending over the questionnaire and us having our phone call. And what that looks like is you're going to get a complete design board and what that will entail will vary per project. It really just depends on what you're needing for your space. So it could be new paint colors, curtains, furniture, rugs, big plants, a desk, like anything could be included in that. It just depends on what the space is and what your needs are for your space. You're also going to get clickable links to be able to go straight over to the websites that are selling those products and purchase them. So you do need to be willing to purchase things online and do some online shopping. And you're also going to get a floor plan and it's really basic, but it just shows you where everything goes. So where the rug is placed, where the couches go, where the lighting goes, or the artwork is hung on the wall, just to give you a clear vision. Because the cool thing about eDesign is we get to partner together. So I get to help you realize your vision and your dream for your space and pick those things out for you. And then you get to kind of put it all in the space and bring it to life. Another great question is what is the cost? And so I wanted to run through that really quickly with each of you. So we have small spaces and large spaces. A small space is going to be like a bathroom, a master closet, a little mud room, maybe an entryway, a sunroom. Those are all considered small spaces. And the cost for that is $500. That is the design fee. And you pay that up front. And then once you're project is completed, you do have one round of alterations that we can make. We'll swap those out and that's included in your initial cost. And then if we have any additional alterations that need to be made after that, there is a $50 an hour design fee that would apply. And then we also have large spaces. So your kitchen, your dining room, your living room, a master bedroom, those are considered large spaces and those are 750 for the design fee. One thing I wanted to touch on just while we're talking about money is that there is a spot in the questionnaire that we send to you after you purchase your space that does talk about the actual renovation and upfit cost that you are comfortable with. So we want to work with your budget. So there are a couple of different ranges that you can select. Um, so that that way we are choosing pieces and items that are very mindful and respectful of your budget that you have set. Okay, friends, I think we covered everything. Those were some of the most commonly asked questions that we had about our e-design services. If you have any additional questions, please comment down below and let us know or send us an email at sky at houseandhome.com and I would be more than happy to answer those for you. I will have our e-design services linked down below. If you want to check them out over on the website, most of what we chatted about today is shared on the website as well so you can get all of that information and writing and more and again please don't hesitate to reach out with any additional questions now we're going to test out our pressed glass juicer from our shop we do still have some of these available in stock so i'll link it down below but our son luca has been asking for lemonade all summer and we are not typically juice drinkers so i thought this was the perfect opportunity to involve him in the process and get to make some lemonade together. Now this isn't just your ordinary lemonade. This is actually strawberry lemonade and it's on the healthier side. So it doesn't have a bunch of artificial sweeteners or sugars in it, which we absolutely love. So I will share the recipe with you all here at the end of this little footage of us making our strawberry lemonade and you can screenshot it and hopefully you'll give it a try. It really was so simple just a couple of ingredients and it did taste so good one thing I will note is that you can make this as sweet or as sour as you want ours was on the sweeter side just because our kiddos aren't really a huge fan of like the sour lemon taste so you could definitely 
switch things up to taste and to make it how you want it to be. So you may want to add a little bit more lemon juice or a little bit less honey, however you want it. That's really neat because this recipe is so simple and customizable. unbox my Cricut machine and I am going to start working on this project before we even head over to the office. I figured I've got it at home already so I might as well just start the project here and then we can go ahead and take the actual logo to the office and apply it to the door. While we're there we're going to do some little sneak peeks as well of some new product that just arrived to the office and we'll be hitting the site very very soon. I always love Love to take advantage of being at the office with my camera and giving you guys some behind the scenes footage so that should be super fun so let's get my Cricut out and let me show you what I'm gonna be working on today so for today's project I'm gonna be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 machine to create a logo sticker to put out on the exterior door of our house and home office and let me tell you, the Cricut machine is such a cool and useful tool for small business owners. If you are a small business owner like myself or maybe an aspiring business owner, you can use your Cricut machine to make money. You can sell products using your machine or you can even create custom merchandise such as home decor, clothing, mugs, greeting cards, and so much more. With Christmas coming up, I'm thinking it would be so fun to use my Cricut machine to create some finishing touches for our packages that are going out. I also love the idea of creating some really cute tags on our local pickup bags using our Cricut machine. So as you can see, there are so many different ways you can use this machine if you have a small business. And so I hope you guys will check it out. I'm going to have everything linked down in my description below. You can check out the machine that I'm using today for my project. It honestly turned out so cute. I couldn't have been more happy with how this project turned out. And honestly, it just feels so great to have our sign on our door as we are just walking in. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's crisp, it's very on brand for us, and I think it turned out just so great. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I look forward to hearing what you all think in the comments down below. looks I'm so happy to finally have our name on our doors now this isn't like a typical storefront if you will so we just went with our logo instead of putting like hours of operation and phone number and what you'd sometimes see on a business store this is perfect for what we need for right now and I think it turned out great it was such an easy project and I'm really excited to see what else we can do with our Cricut machine for house and home
Okay friends, now it's time to take a little peek in the office and check out some of our pre-fall launch pieces. We have never done a pre-fall launch before, but with all of the shipping delays and just the craziness of this last year, we've decided that we're going to go ahead and pre-launch some items that you'll see kind of featured here. Uh, we also have a bunch more that'll be included in this pre-launch, but I just didn't have them to share today uh, in this video, but stay tuned for the date on that. We just decided, you know what? We are going to put out some great transitional pieces that you can have in your home at the end of summer and the beginning of fall, even into winter. So I'm really, really excited for this. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. And don't forget to hop over to my video description to check out all things Cricut. I'll have everything linked down below. I'm also going to link the other two Cricut videos that I have recently done. One was a pantry organization video and one was a beautiful welcome sign video and tutorial. So you guys can check those out as well. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye friends.